Hello everyone, Unknown Reefer here, back with the DD Reef Pro 1500. Um, second bit of the day, we're going to do an equipment review this time, and we are going to talk about the Vectron 600. Now, I actually bought this second hand, because um, I was spending a lot of money setting the tank up at the time. Um, and, yeah, what can I say about it? It's a UV, it goes in, it, it does the job. I've got this being supplied by a 15 quid return pump off of Amazon. Um, and it goes up through the UV, goes into my phosphate reactor and it back down into the tank. I find that quite handy because I like to do water changes, um, which I've said before, kind of like the reef float style where I actually... Um, we'll add the new water into the sump, let it all mix together um, so it's less shock on the corals and then I can just drain the water out of the sump so I don't mess with the level or disturb the top of the tank very much. Um, and what that gives me is this pipe means I can then stick it out out the end of the um, sump and into a bucket and I can empty it out. Um, so the Vectron 600, this is a 25 watt steriliser. Um, I've not long changed the bulb on this actually, so it's it's got a nice new fresh bulb in. Um, I would say they're quite easy. I mean, it's self-explanatory plumbing. They've got the 90 degree and the straight one. I'm not sure if new in the box, they do come with a second straight one. I'm not totally sure. Oh, my little light's gone off then, and that bit of PTFE is annoying me. Um, but yeah. Um, so they're fairly simple construction you unscrew those three bolts from the front and you can get access to the internals where that's got your tube in um, and you can un unclip the end to change the bulb I to be honest found it quite fiddly changing that bulb and I'm an electronics and software engineer by trade so I'm quite used to taking electrical and electronic bits of kit apart and I found it a bit fiddly to get both to clip in and go back in but it might have just been the position where it is um, I suppose you could say I've maybe put it in upside down because you can see this clip here that holds um, the tube in uh, might be better but I found that this actual this tube inside wanted to fall out when you have this cover off um, and as you can see by the, la the way the label is this is the right way up well, this I think it is this is the right way up but I find it wants to fall out so it might have been better place to put the label on the other way around and have it go the other way. Um, I have also had a couple of other little issues with it whereby um, this screw thread up the top when I wanted to change the direction the way the water was going it then started dripping out of here. Um, it was nothing a little bit PTFE tape didn't fix but it was one of those I changed the angle and then I was swearing at myself for faffing with something that was working. Um, it screws down, there's two screws actually in the back part of it um, that secure it to the back of the tank. Um, so yeah, as I said, the main issue was I had was with that leaking. And then the other issue I've had is a bit of a strange one. That sometimes you turn it off and turn it on and the UV doesn't come on. I'm not entirely sure what causes it, I usually just wiggle it and turn it on and off and then it, it comes back to life again, but I'm not entirely sure what causes it. It only seems to be sort of when I faff with the tank for a long period of time or I knock it um, because... Oh, my light's going off again. Um, because I have my setup um, on timer plugs and what I do is I turn off the skimmer and this UV um just before midnight because at midnight i inject some coral food into the return chamber uh, through my doser there so i don't want any of it going back up through and going through the skimmer or going into some so it just gets sucked up by the the return pump and goes up through um but other than those two little issues it seems to work um i don't really know about ick whether it will control it very well I'd imagine you'd have to really control the flow rates for that. Um, as, I, as I said in a previous video, I've had a little bit of ick in this tank, but it hasn't taken over, so maybe it does help. Um, I keep it more in there for water clarity 
Um, which, as you can see, I've got a little bit of cloudiness to the water. A little bit of things being stirred up, but I, I don't mind that. I don't have to worry about it being absolutely gin clear, but it, it does keep it clear enough to give give good viewing. And like I say, it's for a little bit of, hopefully, um, parasite control. And obviously, because I've got that window there, that I do have the curtains open to get the tank a little bit of natural light, I want to make sure the tank doesn't go too greeny. And as I said before, I run this off of natural seawater, so it, if there's any greeniness to that, Although most of that will be sediment, it does help tidy that up as well. But ultimately, I would yep, recommend. I know some people say UVs aren't required, but when I did the build for this tank, I decided I was going all out. Um, so I'll put yeah one of these on, which is actually rated for this size tank. Um, I would have to look up more about how far it goes, but my whole system, before you have water displacement, is about 500 litres. Um, so hopefully that's helped. Got any questions? Leave them down in the comments below.